gas bag. Handbag. You have £100. <laughs> Question number two is for 200. Complete the phrase, as smooth as a baby's what? Nose, cheek, ears, bottom. Bottom. Baby's bottom, you got 200 quid. <laughs> Question number three is for 300 pounds. Which of these is a bird of prey? Voles, vixen, vulture, viper. Vulture. You have £300. <laughs> uh, no trick questions at all, no problem so far. Question number four is for 500 Which pantomime traditionally features a genie of the lamp? Aladdin, Babes in the Wood, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty. Aladdin. It's the right answer, you've got £500. <laughs> Question number five would guarantee you £1,000 if you gave me the right answer. It is the last point at which you could go home with absolutely zero. Just be aware of those lifelines. You probably won't need them. This is for 1000 In Roman times, what initials were emblazoned on the standards of marching soldiers? RSVP, SPQR, GSOH, BYOB. Mm, um... SPQR. Are you sure? Yeah. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. <laughs> uh, you have £1,000. Question number six is for £2,000. Which sea was sometimes known as the Spanish Main? <coughs> Caribbean. Red. Coral. South China. I think that was all the pirate stuff in the Caribbean. Sure? Uh, yeah. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> so what's weird is you're doing really rather well and your wife doesn't even know you're on. I know. <laughs> That's fantastic, isn't it? Can you ring her? Where is she? Uh, she's in Las Vegas. All right. At the moment. As fast as you're winning it, she's probably gambling it on the fruit <laughs> machine. Yeah. Yeah. You need more than this to pay for it, I think. You're doing well. You've got 2,000. Question number seven is for four grand. Which boxer announced his retirement in 2004? Chris Eubank, Lennox Lewis, Joe Calzaghi, Audley Harrison. I mean, I recognise all the names, but I'm not a big boxing fan. Um, I know two of them are still boxing. Can I ask the audience, please? You can. Uh, audience, first time we've needed a lifeline for Terry. Um, this is the question. It's worth £4,000. Which boxer announced his retirement in the year 2004? Now, A on your keypad is Chris Eubank. Uh, B, Lennox Lewis. C, Joe Calzaghi or D. Audley Harrison. All vote now. Seventy-eight percent say Lewis. Eleven uh, percent say Christopher Livingstone Eubank. Five percent Calzaghi. Six percent Audley Harrison. Yeah, because I'm sure Calzaghi, uh, Calzaghi and Harrison are still fighting. Chris Eubank is a long time ago, so. Yeah, I'll go with the audience. Final answer. Final answer? Yes. It's absolutely right. You won £4,000. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Do you have £4,000? You have a 50 50. You have a wife in Las Vegas who doesn't know you're here, and you have a phone friend. You can phone your wife. It would be a bit of a shock for her. Uh, question number eight is for £8,000. Here we go. The British composer Eric Coates is associated with which famous march? Colonel Bogey, The Dambusters, Radetzky, Washington Post. It's worth £8,000. I don't even have a guess at that. 
If I had an inkling towards one, then I would go 50-50, but I, I really don't know that at all. So I will have to phone someone. OK. Uh, who do you know that would know? Or even might know? Uh, I think it would have to be Ray. He's got a good breadth of general knowledge. You hope? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it includes this, yeah. Where's he from? He's from Wakefield. What's he do? He works in an office. I used to work with him a lot of years ago. OK, let's phone Ray. Um, you've still got a 50-50, and you could still take £4,000 after all that. Uh, tell Ray the question, four possible answers. Uh, it's worth £8,000. Okay. It's serious business. It's Chris Tarrant, good evening. Hiya. How are you? Not the bad, thank you. You sound very calm. <laughs> well, you know you said you'd be Terry's phone a friend. Yeah. Well, this is that bit. He's stuck on a particular question for £8,000. Right, thank you very much. That's all right, my pleasure. Um, <laughs> so the next voice here would be Terry. So tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. One of these is worth eight grand. All right, mate? Yeah, no problem. Terry, 30 seconds. Fingers crossed. Your time starts now. OK. The, the British composer Eric Coates is associated with which famous march? Colonel Bogie, the Dambusters, Radetzky. Dambusters. Are you sure? I'm positive, 100%. 100%, good man. I will see you in the pub. Thank you very much. OK. Might even buy him a drink. I might <laughs> buy him too. Might buy him too. Yeah. Uh, the Dambusters. Even though you haven't a clue? No, but he has. Well, he said 100%. He sounded yeah. pretty positive. Um, play? Yeah. Final, Final answer. answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> Good phone of friends. Feeling bad actually. It's a bit you... surreal. It's, well, it's kind of surreal. Yeah. Um, I mean, this thing about you becoming a hypnotherapist. How's that worked? Well, I, I actually did my training before I was made redundant yeah. because it was interesting. Uh, it's worked out very well. It's fascinating. Yeah. It's... Can you sort of hypnotise yourself? Yeah. To win the show. Well, not not to win the Give show. Give yourself but... a million pounds. <laughs> yeah, that would Can be you? nice. Yeah. No, be just to take the edge off the nerves a little bit. Yeah. You say that of all the things you've done so far since you started working as a hypnotherapist, your proudest moment was helping a little nine-year-old girl get rid of a stammer. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah. You know, to see a, a little girl that could barely speak when she came in to six weeks later, she's talking about joining a drama group. That's Just... fantastic. Well, that's a real achievement. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the, um, the serious business. You are two away from £32,000. Question number nine is for £16,000. Take time, have a look, here it comes. Elizabeth Throckmorton was the wife of which famous Elizabethan? William Shakespeare, Philip Sidney, Francis Drake, Walter Raleigh. Elizabeth Throckmorton. I'd be glad to change her name. If I'd heard that name before, I would have remembered it. I don't know. Uh, do not know. You can get rid of two. It may, yeah. may not help. You can get yeah. rid of two and you might as well do yeah, it. Yeah, can I do that? Right, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Terry the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Damn. I was hoping Shakespeare was going to stay there. Um... You got eight grand, it's worth 16. One of those is worth 16,000 pounds. <sighs> Elizabeth Throckmorton was the wife of which famous Elizabethan? Francis Drake or Walter Raleigh? One of those is worth £16,000, one of those would cost you £7,000. I'm trying to compare how hard I would kick myself if I lose seven grand. 
against how hard I would kick myself if I didn't guess what I'm leaning towards and it was right. I don't know how hard you're going <laughs> to kick yourself. <laughs> that is right. But you know what you could do if you get the wrong answer? Yeah. Don't tell the wife you were ever wrong. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. As long as Gemma doesn't grasp you. To me. <laughs> You've got eight grand, it's worth 16. Yeah. Which one are you inclining towards? Francis Drake. Why? I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Why are you I laughing then? This is sort of hysteria I, setting in. I, it must be, yeah. I had something in my mind about Sir Walter Raleigh and Queen Elizabeth, but that's totally meaningless, so I don't even know why I'm thinking it. Um, <sighs> you got eight thousand pounds. Hmm. I'm going to go for it. I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the chance, I think. I'll say Francis Drake. Final answer. You had £8,000. Your wife's not here. She doesn't know you're on. She doesn't need to know that you've just lost £7,000. <laughs> Terry. Oh, what a shame. It's, uh, it's Walter Raleigh. Still, Terry Lowell goes away with £1,000. Give him a big hand. And we're turning to the turnbuckle next here on Challenge as a DNA explosion appears. Then it's the Crystal Maze as another recruitment consultant from York shouts at his team to get out. Later, Bob's back and bingo themed in full house.